Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Plant Yard YouTube channel. So today you can see that we have our Echeveria Imbricata plant and uh, we have plucked uh, we have already plucked some leaves of this plant Okay, uh, this this is not its leaf. Okay. This is some sedum Adolfi uh, You can also see the senecio strings succulent in this part. Okay, okay now Okay, now these two leaves this leaf and This is the first leaf which I have placed here like 10 days back and this is the second leaf so I can see a little bit progress in the in this leaf okay and it is not the like uh, a normal thing because it is very difficult to grow Echeveria bricata or Echeveria blue rose with the help of leaf okay so and so now I will like uh, okay magnifying it okay now I'm adjusting the magnifying lens Okay, now you, you can see the progress, wait, now, 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 okay, now you, you can see it clearly now, okay, now you can s clearly see the baby plant, okay, and these are not the roots, this is, this is the actual uh, baby plant, okay, the very, very small baby plant, you can see, because root formation uh, is very common in Echeveria blue rose okay but this uh, plant uh, baby plant formation is very rare okay uh, it, it 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 is like uh, it is very much you can say rare phenomenon so as i observe so i used to share it with you okay so hopefully you got the concept regarding uh, the result of Echeveria Mricata or Echeveria Blue Rose, okay? And if there is certain update, certain more update, so I will share it with you. Okay, the blurred screen is due, due to the magnifying glass. Now you can see properly the uh, rest of the plant. So hopefully uh, you got the concept. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.